Type 4 Nonverbal Reasoning In this example, you must figure out the code and find the correct answer. The answer is the pair of letters that represent the figure given in the block to the right of the dividing line. Example 1 So you see you're given three figures and a fourth, and you must match the letter codes to the fourth figure. The way to attack this is to find out the similarities in the first three, so you can start eliminating some of your answers. So we have B. B is in two of the figures, so B must represent one of the shapes that is the same. Look carefully at the shapes, and you will see that the circle is the common shape in those two figures. So B must represent the circle. Now we're looking for something that doesn't have a circle in it. So B can't be in our answer. So we can actually eliminate two of the answers, the B and the E, because we know that we have a square or diamond and not a circle. So what's next? Well, the other letters must represent the triangle, but the G, the H, and the I all represent the triangle, so they can't be representing the shape itself. They must be representing the position of the shape. G for the lower position, H for the middle position, and I for the high position. So in this case, what we're looking for is the G, because we are looking for a triangle in the lower position. So our answer must include a C and a G, so our only possible answer is D. And there you have it. Now let's have another look. Example 2. In this example, you're given four different shapes and asked to find the same sort of answer. Two letters that represent the shapes in some way as a code. So again, attack it by looking at what we have in common. Now the two S's. Okay, so we have two S's in common. Now what do the S's represent? Well, they must represent the shapes, but the shapes are facing in different directions, so what do they have in common? They have in common that they are unfilled. So we are looking for the unfilled shapes as well, so let's get rid of some of these things. So if we're looking for shapes that are unfilled, then we must be able to get rid of the J's, so the B and the D can be eliminated because the J's represent the filled shapes. So what's next? Well, the bottom letters are representing something else. So what have we got in common? Look at the T's. There's two T's there. So what do the T's represent? What's similar between those two shapes? Well, one's filled and one isn't. So it must represent the direction that the, those triangles are pointing. They're both pointing to the right. So T must represent the direction that they are pointing. Now look at our answer. We don't have that direction. In fact, we have arrows pointing up or triangles pointing up. So we are looking for a letter that isn't represented in the first four figures. We have got an R, a T, an H, and one letter that isn't there is the P. So it must be the P. So we know it's an S and we know it's a P, so the answer must be A. A is your answer.